Okay, once you've stuck down all the copper tape, you'll be left with something like this. Okay, now, down on the bottom here, you'll have one piece of tape which is overlapping. It's a bit difficult to see on the video, but you can, I can actually see that this tape piece on the bottom I put on second, so it's overlapping, so it's on the top. Now, when we come to solder, which is using the soldering iron, first up we need to make sure that the tip of the soldering iron is nice and shiny and bright clean. Just give it a little wipe on the sponge, just to double check and make sure we can see it comes up nice and shiny, so it's clean. First thing we need to do is solder this part here. To do that, we need to use soldering wire. Okay. Put the soldering iron on the side so we can see this shiny part, so you can see that across this part that needs to be connected. We need to connect this strip to this strip. Okay, by soldering over the joint. Put the soldering iron on its side and just feed in the solder. Okay, you'll need quite a bit. Okay, once it's got to that stage, we can just sort of spread it out a little bit and give the soldering iron a quick wipe. Okay, we can see looking closely that we've got a nice blob of solder that connects this stripe strip to this strip. It depends which direction or which order you put on the tape as to which way this sort of blob needs to stretch. Some of you may need to have the blob stretching over in this direction. Okay, something like that. It all depends on which piece of tape you put on first. Sometimes the tape can lift ever so slightly. If that is the case, give it 20 or 30 seconds just for this to cool down because it can get very hot. If you think it's cooled down enough, after give it that 20-30 seconds, we can just push down like so. It's still a little bit warm, but not too bad. Okay, and then it's nice and tight down like so. And that's the first bit of soldering you have to do. Easy as that.